Yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three. three. It's Akon, the illegal three. alien. Jit. Yeah. This is a Kalanji coming to your life. Shaba. In there. Sunia says. Three. Yes. Three. Three. Obsession. Three. Effects. Gun session. Ted. Three. Gun session. Dumpy with me. Hey. Would you buy, would you buy, would you buy, would you buy, burn him in a minute, minute. If you're this bad man, you're still burn him in a minute, minute, minute. Gun. Long like the Goli name. Burn him in a minute, minute, minute. Luga from Germany, minute, minute. Me use a murder, minute, minute, minute. Any man with bar of gun. I feel return, minute, minute, minute. Me eagle. At the early bird, you are the worm, minute, minute, minute. Don't eat my land, turn him in, but don't return, minute, minute, minute. Because you wear me and straight, you think it's turn, minute, minute, minute. Hey, them boy, they have no gun. Them boy, they have no rifle. Them collapse like twin tower, but I am the Eiffel. April 2004, me and Coach Corey here uh, started a club here in Castlegar at uh, the old Woodland Park School. It's now burnt down. So teenagers set on fire and burned it down. I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was down here 10 years ago. We've been doing this club. It started off, believe it or not, Corey's sons. He has like 17 kids or something. And, uh, he has no. He has he has four boys, and I have one. And uh, we started, uh, we were trained back in Ontario when we first moved here from Toronto. We said we'd love to, there was no jiu-jitsu, there was no martial arts, there was Muay Thai and trail at the time. But other than that, there was nothing. And so we said, well, we want to teach our boys this. So we started with a mattress in his living room, throwing our boys around. <laughs> so that's how Kuni Jiu-Jitsu started in his house on a mattress. Uh, and uh, it's evolved into this. So I think we're hovering around the 50 month. So that's Perry was my very first student ever, like literally my very first student. Okay, I had my son and my daughter and my nephews. And I was, there was six of us. That's all our club was. And then we knew, we happened to know Perry and Matthew, his brother, and we asked them if they want to train. So Perry's been training ten years. <laughs> Met up with, very makes me very proud as a coach, met up in the absolute blue belt, no gi division, my two students in the finals for the fight for the gold. So I knew both my students were getting gold and silver, which makes you feel nice, you know, because they're rounding out the division. But uh, Jake was leading the match and actually ended up getting caught with a gi team. Yeah. Got caught with a gi team from Dan Neal, but it was his teammate, all good, you know. So, I mean, amazing, amazing for his first time is the blue belt. <laughs> It's my pleasure today to award your coach, Professor Ben, with his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. I'll tap. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. I mean, uh, it's been a long time. Uh, Ten years of, uh, of uh, having Kuni Jiu-Jitsu, and, uh, you know, I've been doing this since I was eight years old, being involved in martial arts, and 
doing starting off in karate, doing judo, and then the Japanese jiu-jitsu, and being involved in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I took my very first Brazilian jiu-jitsu class in Victoria in 1996. So it's been uh, 96, 2000, it's been 18 years. 18 years since I took my first Brazilian jiu-jitsu class. I even remember what I did. I learned a head and arm choke from guard. <laughs> first one, first technique I ever learned. I was yesterday. Did you? Yeah. yeah, see, that was the very first time, very first move I remembered, and I never went on to a scissor sweep, but uh, yeah, uh, it's, it seems like not that long ago, but uh, did some training with, I've, I've been training with Corey for 15 years, and I've known Coach Bart. Uh, he's been a part of our, we've been a part of his organization for the last four years, but uh, I, we were going to his tournaments before then, and we got to know each other and develop this friendship, and we were coming down, and he was hosting tournaments, and through MMA and some of the fighters, we got to know each other better, and I'm just really happy that he's uh, able to come up here, and he's so close, and that's really nice. Yeah, thank you for the club. Them boy they have no gun. Them boy they have no rifle. Them collapse.